we are discussing the interview questions that an interviewer might ask us during an IP engineer, during an IT engineer, during an IT support engineer, during a technical support officer interview, right? So another interview question an interview might ask is that how often does a RIP1 router broadcast its routing table by default? So after how many minutes or seconds does it keep on sending the updates to its neighbors? The answer is every 30 seconds. So after a timer of 30 seconds, the router, RIP enabled router will keep on sending its update to its neighbors. It will notify guys, these are my neighbors and this is what I have in my routing table. So each router keeps on sharing with each other. Another question is that what is route poisoning in RIP? We just discussed about split horizon. So route poisoning is a feature in routing protocol in RIP routing protocol, which helps us to avoid the problems arousing, arising from routing loops, same concept. But with route poisoning, when a distance vector routing protocol notices that a route is no longer valid, the route is advertised as an infinite metric, which means 16, right? So in RIP, we consider a route as infinite or unusable when it crosses 16 hops or if its metric is 16. So we make it 16 and then we advertise guys this route is not reachable. So this is one of another technique through RIP other than split horizon. So route poisoning means we poison a route we mark is as unreachable infinite route after some time, right? So this helps us to avoid the routing loops. Another question is that what is the metric of RIP routing protocol? So RIP uses hop count at, as its metric. We just discussed, right? And it keeps on increasing the hops one by one, one by one, right? And routing path with less number of hops is always preferred. Let's say A wants to send some data to this B destination. So there are multiple paths. One path could be from here here, here, and then here. How many routers in between? One, two, three, four, and five routers, right? Then another path could be, so we start from here, and then we go from here to here directly. So how many routers? One, two, three, four, and five again, right? And then there could be another path, which could be one, two, three, four, and the fifth one. So one, two, three, four, five, right? And then there could be one more path, let me start again. So let's say the first path is this normal path, yellow path. So one, two, three, four, and five. There could be another path which can be one, two, three, four, five, six. And then if there is a path in here and then it goes here. So there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and the ninth one. So of course it is gonna choose as this one, the best path with five number of hops. So RIP uses number of hops to choose the best path. Another question the interviewer might ask us during an interview that what is the multicast address of RIP1, RIP2, and RIP NG? There are three versions, right? Two versions actually, version one, version two, and NG is for IPv6, which we made later on. So here, first of all, RIP version 2, it uses 224.0.0.9 as multicast address, right? So what does OSPF use? Let me ask you as a reminder, as a revision. So it uses 224.0.0.5 and .6, right? OSPF. So RIP uses .9 version 2. RIP version 1 does not use multicast at all. It uses broadcast for routing updates. And RIP NG, it uses IPv6 address FF02 double colon 9 for multicast. So RIP version 2 and RIP NG, they support multicast while RIP version 1 does broadcast. It does not support the multicast. Then how does RIP routing protocol achieve faster convergence times in a network? right because we say that okay rip is fast but how it is fast through what so rip routing protocol achieves faster convergence times through triggered updates so it does not depend only on periodic updates for example let's say this is router number one 
so every 30 seconds it will keep sending updates that guys i have network number one i have network number two attached with me network number three let's say so it will keep on sending to this router number two and similarly router two will also do on same on all rip interfaces so but before that let's say before 30 second happens this route or this network goes down so immediately r1 will notify everyone that guys i had a network let's say this was 10.0.0 i had a network 10.0.0 which is down now so this is called as triggered update so this one improves the convergence time convergence time means that whenever a change has happened or it is the first time you turned on all the routers so they come back to the uh, they come to the final stage you know after all the discussions with each other so that is called converged state so this the time we take from zero or from change up to convergence is called as convergence time so through triggered updates we can achieve convergence time less or faster convergence similarly in all other routing protocol the concept is same concept does not change okay another question which type of authentications are supported in rip1 and rip2 authentication means security authentication so rip1 does not support any authentication at all and rip2 supports md5 or plain text we can say but md5 type of authentication is supported in rip version 2 which means that if we have two routers router 1 and router 2 they are running rip routing protocol so the interface between them we can turn on the authentication here on this interface and on this interface and even if a hacker will be able to catch this information he will be able to tap this information still he will not be able to read what is inside the packet because it will be encrypted through md5 hash so this is called authentication similarly ospf eigrp they have their own authentication method so mainly it's md5 we can say so these were interview questions some of the interview questions and we will keep on adding more and more parts to this series if you have any questions related or if you have any comments please keep on writing in the zoom chat below in the comments below wherever you are watching this video and we'll keep on updating based on your feedback please subscribe to our channel and like this video thank you for watching